my name is Tyra Fool and welcome back to another Star Stable update video. Sorry, that was my chair squeaking. <laughs> um, and you may notice that it's actually sunset right now in Jorvik and that is because it is 20 past 10 at night and the reason that I'm filming this at night is because I just... Apparently my budgie wants to talk in this video. It's because I just got onto Star Stable. My internet was going so slow all day long so it was impossible to update and then my internet finally got back to its normal speed but still the update took ages. My game took so long to update and now I finally be able to get online and it's at night time and um, so yeah I am going to be filming this video at night time. Fortunately, it's not too dark in your Vic, but um, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be busy tomorrow. So I'm filming this tonight and then I'm going to be editing and uploading it first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this video. We have a new breed of horse. The Yorvik Wild Horses are back, but they're different this time. They've um, uh, The Yorvik Wild Horse actually comes in lots of different colours and... Uh, sizes and shapes. So the Yorvik Wild Horses that Gary Goldtooth has brought with him this time look a bit different to the ones that we saw last time. So we're going with our update pony Moondust to see and he is in Fergrove somewhere. Lucky for me my star, my, my star stable, my home stable is in Fergrove. Um, Sorry if I'm talking a little bit softly, I'll probably try to um, increase the volume when I edit. It's just that it is night time, so I don't want to be too loud. And where is this guy? I want to see these horses. We have three new... Ooh! I just saw one. We saw the pink one. I'm not going to stop to look at it because the horses are over here. So we're going to be able to look at them just like the old uh, wild horses. They do change color. <gasps> Oh look, there's someone on the old, well not old, but the um, the smaller purple one. Oh, I, I thought this was one of the horses for sale, but it's just someone riding it. Oh, look at these though. Okay, let's look at this one. Wow. Oh wow, it's like, it's, it's like a cupcake. I would totally, I don't, actually I don't think cupcake is a name option. I would totally name this cupcake as if I could, because look at all the, it looks like it has sprinkles on it. And its mane is like, Whoa. Okay, so the main moves. That's um not sure if I like that or not. It kind of looks weird to me. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. But anyway, let's read this. Around Yorvik's less accessible spots, herds of free roaming Yorvik wild horses can be found. The breed is thought to be particularly special, owning uh, owing to the vibrant colours and patterns on the horse's body and hair. Colours such as blue, red, green, purple, and orange aren't as unusual. Even the horse's eyes can be unusually coloured in violet, red, or clear blue. The horse is believed to have emerged in symbiosis symbiosis with the Pandoric energy flows which is said to explain their unique colorings. Many also believe the horses to have certain magical abilities. Yorvik wild horses are usually a little shorter and more thick bodied than most similar to field horses but can have other variations in heights of their withers. The wither is the part at the base of the neck if you don't know. The unique colors and patterns don't ever seem to show up when they're around civilization but they're strongest when but they're at their strongest when they're out in nature. Please note the Yorvik Wild Horse is not as fast as other horses and we can get these one of these guys for 599 star coins. So when you are in one of the main towns near the stables or something the horses will um, have regular horse colors and then when you're out um, uh, in the wilderness they will have these colors and this this horse so looks like a cupcake it looks like someone's like gone and like crazy with a highlighter on this horse. I'm just going to see, I'm not gonna buy a horse. I just wanna see if Cupcake is actually, I don't see Cup here. Is Cup down here maybe? There's Cake. Oh, there's no Cupcake. Okay, they should definitely do Cupcake. I'm not buying a horse right now um, because I haven't had a look at them all yet. I don't know if I'm going to buy one. I think I want to see what their town colours look like, which I'll probably go to Steve's after this. But here is the green one. I think it's lucky that I came at night time because there's less people. Here's the green one, looking very fancy. I, I really like the green one. It looks 
very nice, but I want to see them with different manes. Oh, look at their tails. I love their tails. I, I really love the green on this. It is, it's gorgeous. It's like a forest horse. And over here is the third one, which is the blue one. It actually looks kind of plain in comparison to the other ones. Um, I think if I get one, I'm going to get the green one. I don't know. Like, they look nice. The blue ones are okay, I suppose. But I'm kind of really drawn to the green one just because of, like, the earthy uh, tones. And, like, oh, I just, like, look at those green markings on it. It's so pretty. But I'm not a fan of the manes, I'm going to be honest. I kind of want manes that are more like these ones. So, um, yeah, so that's the new... Wild horses. I'm actually going to go to Steve's to see if we can see some of these horses in their normal horse colors. So when they're in towns and stuff. And I chose Steve's because, uh, you know, people seem to kind of collect at Steve's. If I can't find anyone at Steve's, I will ask in the chat so I can show you guys. But I'll cut all of that out. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's already been six minutes. What? Time flies crazily fast when I'm... Um, filming these. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing down because I thought this was going to be short but time really does fly. Okay, so we're looking for, oh okay, so already we have two of the black ones which look very, oh I love them, oh they're not quite completely black, they're like a super dark grey and I think they look amazing in their natural colours so oh I might get a black one. The black one seems to be very popular. Um, Wow, there's a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Here's a. I kind of almost said white. Here's one of the brown ones. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Here is the brown one with the white mane and tail. This one. Mm, I don't know. It's. I'm not particularly in love with any of them, but I think that'll change if I get to see the different mane options because I just I don't like the mane sticking up like that, and also it looks kind of weird how it's moving. Um, <laughs> just that's just my opinion. Um, so here is the brown and white one. It does look very nice. I kind of, I do like the colorings on this. But I think the black one so far looks best in its town colors. And oh, awesome, we're in luck. So this is, oh, I really like the white one's town colors. It's like a flea bitten gray, but with also some creamy or like brownie tones. It looks so pretty. Um... which one I'm going to get. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and end this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this update video and enjoyed this update. Ghost episode 4, it's... I'm about a third of the way through editing it. I kind of... Okay, okay. Let's see a size comparison. This is a Shire next to the Wild Horse. Oh, so they are about the same size. Sorry. <laughs> random, um... Uh, random pause there. So they are about the same size. Uh, anyway, I was saying goodbye. <laughs> uh... Ghost at 5, I'm about a third of the way through editing, it's um, I've been busy uh, doing a lot of things with my real life animals and stuff, so I'm sorry it's not out, I was hoping to have it out before this episode, but um, yeah, next week, next week, thing, fingers crossed, it will be out, I'm really sorry, I know a lot of you are looking forward to that, but I'll try to get it out as soon as possible, but like I've said before, I really want it to be perfect, so it is something that takes time, it can't be rushed. Um, I better face you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one soon. Bye!